Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This week's is a pretty chatty one, so I hope you enjoy the company. This week I take you to school with me and to my mentor's house to work on a printmaking project. I also talk a little bit more like a lot about my feelings going into the last few weeks of college. It's all catching up with me and I hope some of you can relate. Let this serve as my little therapy session with you. I have some really exciting projects coming up here in the next month or so. Some of them include murals. Yeah, a lot of cool things happening moving into the summer. Grab a cup of tea and calm the F down with me, maybe a little snack. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoy the vlog. some printing. Yesterday you saw me working on it in class. Yes, I'm vlogging in the car. Don't come at me, mom. I am so glad the weather is nice. It's 80 degrees out, which is like heaven. These are the last couple weeks of the semester and I have final projects to get done. So it's crunch time, baby. Yesterday, you saw me working on prints in the studio at school. I didn't have enough time to stay and work on those. I got my hippie long stocking hair today. It's funny how much quarantine and the pandemic have made me care the least about my appearance because I'm inside all the time, so when I do go outside, I'm just like, nah, I'm gonna look how I look. <laughs> so working on prints today, hopefully I'll get them done because they're due on Wednesday. I had to scrap a lot of this project to make it work in time because I'm generally just, I really underestimate how much time things take me and how much I want to try out and get done within my time limits. So that's something that I'm looking forward to after school is over, that, to be able to set my own schedule and not have one week deadlines for huge projects. Um, and to be a little bit more realistic about the things that I'm taking on. It's hard because once you get in your last semester of college, you want to be creating professional work because you have to have it for your portfolio. Your portfolio is essentially to show businesses and people that want to hire you, but you can't do quality work in such a short amount of time how you have a couple days to get an assignment done in school. I don't know if many other majors are like this, but it's just really unrealistic deadlines in art school. I feel like my quality of work has been not up to par with what I want to create because of the school deadlines being so strict. So hopefully after school is over I'll be able to have a little bit more freedom in scheduling and 
today is April 6th and classes end on the 22nd so we're very very close to the end and I'm freaking out but I'm excited I think that there's gonna be a lot of opportunities out there that I can apply myself for I'm excited to work with other people I think that doing work for other people has been really fun for me because it still gives me a challenge even though I'm not in school it challenges me to have a prompt for my work and pushes me a little bit further than doing what's comfortable. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my 100 day project because my alphabet of amphibians only takes up about 78 days of the challenge. So I'm thinking about asking everybody on Instagram what they want to see from me for those last 20 something days and if they want to see more amphibians or if they want me to continue on if you have any suggestions let me know so unfortunately my tendency is to want to do as much as I can in such a short amount of time like with my assignments, I am given a prompt and then I'm given all these techniques to use for the prompt and I just want to use all of them. That's kind of how my semester with printmaking has gone. Every single time that I'm given an assignment, I get too excited about it and I want to try out all of the techniques that I'm given in the one project and it's just like this overload where I can't choose everything or else it's going to take me so much longer to complete the project. And that's kind of what's happening with this project that I'm working on this week. I am finding myself having to figure out alternative methods to finish the project on time because it's due tomorrow. We'll see what I can get done today and I'll try to show you. Art Hop last week on Friday went super well. I was so impressed with the turnout. I was really happy with how everybody received my work and next month on my birthday actually there's another Art Hop. So I'm going to try to do that one. It seems like the first Friday of every month it usually falls around my birthday in May. That's a fun time because I associate my birthday with my student shows in community college. They were always the weekend of my birthday and I won prizes every year. So the weather starts warming up, more art shows happen around my birthday, which is a really good present to have. There's something so different about showing your work to people in person. like my shades? Pretty cool, right? One of the downfalls of having glasses. So I am currently at the bank. One of the things that I have to do now that I'm a business, it didn't happen overnight, but it's something that I have to start thinking about, is that the money that I invest in myself and get from when people purchase my work has to go somewhere. So I am going to make a separate business account for work expenses. This, my friends, is adulting right here. It's definitely weird thinking that the money that I spend on my business 
is like something that should be documented separately and I have to spend money on printing products and purchasing postcards and, and purchasing supplies and everything related to my art so I have to get real about documenting that stuff and it's just going to be easier if I have a separate card and a separate account hooked up. Yeah, I thought I'd check in. I just got back from Alexa's and I was printing for about three hours. I'm not very happy with how they turned out, but whatever. One of my last assignments for school, so I can't take it too seriously. Sometimes you just gotta let it go and it wasn't my best project, but also I've had a lot of other things going on that are for future and things that I should be prioritizing more than my class right now. So I wanted to make them to raise awareness for Earth Day and plastic pollution and I've just been seeing all the trash around ever since the snow has melted and it saddens me. So I felt compelled to make something that talks a little bit about it. I'll see you when I see you. I just got to my car after class and tell me why my car says it's 86 degrees outside. Like, I hate to be ungrateful, but I just went to turn the volume down to turn this, <laughs> to turn the air down because it's so loud. I need some water and some food. All I ate this morning was four pretzel sticks. I'm not proud of it. It's almost four o'clock and I need to eat something else. I just picked up my work from a student exhibition called Smoke and Ghosts. Um, it was organized by a student. She made a really cool website for it. I don't know how much longer it'll be up for, but I couldn't see the show in person in time. So I got to just go on and see it on the website. It's a whole collaborative show. A bunch of other students participated. A lot of variety of work. 
This morning I painted the letter W for my alphabet of amphibians and somebody mentioned a couple weeks ago that they didn't know I was doing these paintings every single day like they thought that at least they were planned in advance and they aren't. <laughs> I wake up in the morning or whenever I can fit it in that day and I sit down and do my research involved and it usually takes me about three to four hours so this morning I got up at eight and took me actually about two hours this morning to do the letter because that takes me the shortest amount of time yeah and then I post it the day of so it really is in a hundred day challenge I'm doing each painting every day and it only goes until about May 3rd. I'm on day 67 today, so I only have a little ways to go in the grand scheme of things. Hey guys, so I just got home from class and I was just thinking about something and I wanted to capture my thoughts here for a second. Um, one of the main reasons why I started making these videos is to be able to look back on them as like a time capsule because these past couple of months realizing that art school is going to be done very soon has made me realize how much it really means to me and I really wanted to capture some of the things that I love so much about it. I had one of those times today in critique. Having a community of artists is so important because you get to bounce ideas off of each other. There's often times a lot behind the pieces that you don't get to know about or um, talk about. Critique is usually the time that you get to share with your peers the purpose behind your work and what you were meaning to convey with the piece and to see if that really came across. And today was very interesting to me. Overall, just a bittersweet experience because it was brought up that we only have five class periods left before the semester's over and then I graduate. It was just so nice to sit and talk with everybody about each person's work. One of the things we talked about was how artwork is such a strong way of conveying a message or subject matter that you feel passionate about but can't quite put into words subjects that are talked about through art that aren't talked about in media or pop culture things that you don't hear about very often because of the worry that it will upset somebody some of these topics were like race social justice equality gender identity feminism environmental education all these things that seem to be hard to bring up in person, but when they're conveyed through a piece of art, I think it gives people time to reflect and step back, internalize the subject rather than being confronted with it. That just makes me feel very proud that I can do that and that I have the power and that so many friends of mine are doing that as well because they're very important subjects that need to be talked about and if we can create art that provokes conversation about them, that's awesome. So yeah, I'm being very nostalgic about graduating soon and kind of losing that community and I'm boring you out of your mind, aren't I? Thanks for listening to me. Thank you so much for being here and supporting my work. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can find me on Instagram at to draw attention or on my website to draw attention.com. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you in the next one.